Nation. Yo, what guan is that guy? Not locks. Not na Not nation. Yes, sir, Wagwan. Yo, today we are doing a little bit of a reaction video. I was watching a rollerblading podcast last night by Austin Paz and Billy O'Neill called Jump Street Podcast. It's a great show on rollerbladers and um I have been lately doing a dedication podcast that's been inspired by this show and some some of the same guests might come about. Be Free was one of the guys I wanted to put on my podcast regarding his most recent lock chop. Although I joined their live stream yesterday and actually got my question answered live on stream. So today I'm going to be just reacting to um, Jump Street Podcast asking Be Free my question regarding dreadlocks. And if you guys aren't aware of Be Free, I have done a video of him in the past. His name is Brian Freeman, pro rollerblader, uh, philanthropist, um, really positive guy, ex-dreadhead uh, out of California, Oakland to be precise. And he's just got a really good attitude on, on life and locks and blading in general. So uh, we're going to jump right into this reaction and um, let's see how you guys, let's see how it turns out. So this is Be Free answering my question live on the Jump Street podcast. Let's get it forever. Anything. On the wheels. Anything. Let's go. Let's get you rolling. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. Awesome. Appreciate it. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, man. Um, we got a bunch of questions lined up. Yeah, go for um, it. And... I think I will start with uh, I, the first question is from Not Nation. Not Nation in the building. And Not Nation says, like a knot. Yeah. Like K. Yeah, like a knot. Yeah. No, not like a knot, but like a knot. You know. Okay. Okay. Why did you cut your dreads, Be Free? And in his picture, he looks like a gentleman with dreads. He looks like a gentleman with dreads. That's so nice of you, Billy. Respects. <laughs> so. Okay. Maybe he's not naughty dread. He's a naughty dread. Uh. It is a naughty dread. That's the first time someone's actually misinterpreted the name Not Nation for like a knot. Interesting. But yes, he did have locks for a very long time, and he most recently cut them. So I was very intrigued on why he cut his hair. So realistically, me with me cutting my hair was kind of like a uh, example, actually, for my family. It was was someone from close to my family to basically showcase that like you can let go of something and start fresh and and keep going. That new growth and new beginning is sometimes something that you need to do, and it's okay to do that. So. Letting go of something that meant a lot, you know, I mean, there's something that I didn't even realize how much it was so uh, just a big part of my image and identity. Yeah, yeah. identity. Yeah. People, you know, I was expecting so much from that. But uh, yeah, that was just a, a, a choice that I wanted to make. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's still here. You know, the power is always within. Is always the strength and it's always regrowing. That's going to be even stronger. So, yeah, new beginnings. New beginnings, new growth, and you can always come back. And basically, he's talking about it's okay to chop your locks if you're feeling like down or if the energy attached to them is really negative or heavy. There's always a new beginning, there's always a new growth, a new opportunity to reclaim um, your so on identity here. And what, is, what another big point that Brian is talking about is that even once your hair is locked, uh, your locked hair is chopped off, the power within is still there. And you're still that same person actually, with or without the locks. Um, it's just that with the locks, it's really externalized on a lot bigger basis, but uh, you can still externalize your energy in other ways. So, Avoid letting that energy being taken with the locks when they cut because deep down inside the, the true potential is still within ourselves and it's a, such a great example um, that he put here um, and another recent podcast with Cameron Talbot he that I had done on this channel he cut his locks shorter after so many years and essentially 
um, Brian here said to Cameron to just do it, you know, just go for it and don't even look back because uh, you can't be attached, essentially. Um, and it's crazy to hear that he said also a lot of people expected him to have locks for his identity and so many people attached his dreadlocks to his identity um, that he th that he thought that was kind of crazy to think that so many people thought that he was his dreads in a sense. That's it. Awesome. Yeah, man. I think about that myself. Uh, I talk about sometimes. Sometimes it's when I shave all my ha my hair off, but it's uh, it's part of my identity. It's part of my image. But but I'm cutting it soon. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it soon. But yeah, I can relate to that. I feel good. And then do it again. You know, just make sure you know exactly. first. For a lot of people, it's hard to do, like in the cultures, like, especially in the Rastas and like, things like that. Like, it was really hard for me. You know? Like, I right. had a whole tattoo with dreads on and have myself with like, a line of gel, like having a dread tattoos. And so, yeah. you know, it, it really was really hard for me to do that. So, that was a really big, like, just a new beginning, you know. And, and, and I was just happy to let it let let the start let it begin you know so a new chapter yeah for sure Come on. um that's cool i want to give a quick shout out to our super chatter so far that's so cool so i hope that brian's locks do come back at a certain point of his life um i feel like you know he's such an inspiration in the rollerblading scene in the dreadlock community that uh i feel like they'll be back you know BeFreeBlading.org. Go check out his rollerblading academy as well if you haven't already. I'm going to end this video here. Super respectful, super appreciative that Billy and Austin answered my question live on stream. That was a first time for me over at the Jump Street Podcast. And I look forward to many more podcasts um, that they're going to launch as well. And at the same time, I'm looking forward to keeping the ball rolling on the Dreadication Podcast that I have out, out that I have being produced on this channel. Um, today's guest I'm going to put out later is actually Mr. Rashard Johnson, pro rollerblader himself. So I will be talking to rollerbladers, I will be talking to locticians, I will be talking to dreadheads and artists on my podcast. So if you have anyone that you would like me to interview or if you have connection with anybody with cool dreads that you would like me to get on the show, let me know in the comments below. I am open to taking all guests on the podcast and I look forward to seeing you guys around. So until next time, peace out, one love, say happy and natty and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm gone. Adios. Dreadlock Rasta.